Okay, here's an example let's work on. Given a polynomial of degree 3 and a real 0 at 2 and a complex 0 at 3i, we want to write the fully factored form of the polynomial. So we know when we're done, we're going to have a polynomial that has three factors. It has three factors because it's degree 3. So let's go ahead and write the ones that we know. We have a 0 at 2, so our first factor is x minus 2. We also have a 0 at 3i, so we're going to write that as x minus the 0. The 0 is 3i, so it's x minus 3i. Now the other thing you need to remember is according to the conjugate zeros theorem, if you have a 0 at 3i, you automatically have its conjugate, which is negative 3i. So even though it doesn't state that we have a 0 at negative 3i, we do. So our third factor is x minus negative 3i. And of course, I can simplify this part to be x plus 3i. So there's our fully factored form, three factors, including the two complex ones. Okay, let's do another example. Here's an example given this polynomial. It's a third degree polynomial. And we want to find the fully factored form given a real 0 at 2. So when we have a 0 at 2, we know we can use synthetic division to help us factor or reduce this polynomial. So let's set up our synthetic division. Drop the 5. 2 times 5 is 10. That adds up to 0. 2 times 0 is 0. That adds up to 5. 2 times 5 is positive 10. That adds up to 0. We have a remainder that's 0. That also tells us, of course, that this is a factor. Okay. Um, so the resulting polynomial here is 5, 0x, 5x five squared. And I can just write this as 5x squared plus 5. Now I need to set this equal to 0 and solve. Let's squeeze that in over here to the side. 5x squared plus 5 equals 0. And I want to solve for my remaining two zeros here. So we're going to subtract 5 from each side. So we have 5x squared equals negative 5. Divide both sides by 5. We get x squared equals negative 1. Then we take the square root of each side, and we get x equals plus or minus the square root of negative 1. And you recall that the square root of negative 1 is i. So we have plus or minus i. So now I'm ready to write my fully factored form. f of x equals, so it's x minus 2, because I have a 0 at 2. And then it's x minus i and x minus a negative i, which is x plus i. And there's my fully factored form.